It's not your regular driveway scene, but these machines are doing important work. You're good. They're hooked up to the kitchen of a Melbourne home, monitoring the output of a gas stove. We're detecting a little bit of methane coming out of this burner, uh, even while it's off. All the testing we've done so far has not been including cooking food. This is all strictly from the combustion of the flame itself. Bridget Lynch is renting and hopes the experiment will reveal if there are any potential health or environmental hazards. Yeah, I'm quite curious to know just exactly what we're breathing in when we are cooking. The first experiment tests nitrogen dioxide, a respiratory irritant linked to asthma. All ventilation to the kitchen is closed. Before the test, nitrogen dioxide levels start low. After about 30 minutes of the hob burning, that level peaks above 500 parts per billion. That's more than five times the maximum recommended air quality for outdoors in Australia. After we're done with this measurement, what we're going to do is we're going to open up the kitchen and actually put hoses in other parts of the house and see how the pollutants move through the house. When the scientists do that, levels drop to around 113 parts per billion. An independent respiratory expert says it proves the importance of good ventilation. If they do have a range hood and that range hood does vent outside and if the actual kitchen area is relatively big, I don't think it's going to pose a huge risk to human health. Asthma Australia is really concerned about some of the concentrations of pollutants in the air that people are breathing in. The organisation wants to see national guidelines introduced to govern indoor air quality. We'd like people to be aware so they can at least reduce exposure to some of these harmful pollutants. Information Bridget's looking forward to digesting. Penny Timms, ABC News.